Your digital life is crazy. Plex makes it crazy good. Enjoy your media wherever you are. This video will cover how playing media works on most of your devices and how to configure the Plex media server to make the most of your Plex experience. If you're here, you should have already installed Plex media server and are ready to experience all of your amazing movies, TV, home videos, photos, and music. If you haven't, check out the quick start video here and get to it. Let's get started and learn the basics of the Plex player. Here is the main Plex home screen. On Deck gives you quick access to the next episode of your favorite shows. It updates automatically as you watch shows in your collection. Continue Watching lets you easily pick up where you left off in movies and TV shows. Recently Added keeps your newest media close at hand. Watching a movie or TV show to completion will remove it from the Recently Added list completely. Partially watching a movie or show will move it from Recently Added to On Deck, where you can quickly take up where you left off. Photos and music have their own recently added section, but do not ever move to on deck. Let's talk about fine-tuning the library settings. You may want to change the library name or include a new source folder for instance. When editing a library, you can change every setting except the type of media. There are two spots you can edit, either from the home screen or from within the library itself. Both access the same settings menu. You can also choose whether to include the library in the dashboard, and for movies, whether to show cinema trailers or to enable or delete preview thumbnails. Sorting makes it easy to manage your libraries and access your media. For instance, in a movie library, you can view by date added, release date, date viewed, name, rating, resolution, or duration. Advanced filtering lets you drill down deep, arrange by rating, year, genre, and much more. Cool, right? Plex apps offer clean, uncluttered media viewing experiences, regardless of whether you're playing videos, music, or photos. Most Plex apps offer similar settings. Here are a few of the most common. Playback settings. Change the audio track, subtitle, and quality during playback. Previous. Returns to the previous item in the play queue. Jump back. Jumps back 10 seconds. Jump forward. Jump forward 30 seconds. Next, proceed to the next item in the play queue. Many Plex apps support shuffling and adding content to playlists. This is most common for music, but can be enabled for any kind of media. Let's go over playlists really quick. You can import playlists from iTunes or create your own in the Plex web app. To add from iTunes, simply go to the Advanced tab while adding a new music library and select Import from iTunes. Done! Or from the playlist screen, select from the settings menu in the upper right. When creating your own playlist in Plex, you can do it with any type of media in the Plex web app and most Plex apps. Let's demo with music. Start in your music library, hit the select button and choose an entire discography, an album or individual tracks. Then add to a new or existing playlist. We've shown you how to edit your libraries, play your media, and use sorting, filtering, and playlists. That's a boatload of great features, and we're always adding more. But if you want to dig in some more, well, just go to support.plex.tv and search. Advanced features abound. We've only scratched the surface, and there will be some information specific to your Plex apps you'll want to check out. Ready to continue to explore Plex? Keep your eyes on the Plex YouTube channel for new videos. So get started, make a playlist, fine-tune your libraries, or play your favorite TV season. Check out Plex.tv for more videos and the latest news.